Bridgeway prepared me to be independent. It set me up really well to expand my education and wherever I want to go. It just helped me learn how to apply myself. Bridgeway prepared me to be diligent in my schoolwork. Our teachers actually wanted us to connect, and I met people from all over the world. I am from Rosenberg, Texas. Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Florida. Queens, New York. Connecticut. I am from Michigan. Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Rhode Island. Minneapolis, Maryland. Bronx, New York. Memphis, Tennessee. I'm Las Vegas, Nevada. It was really amazing today to be able to meet all of my fellow senior graduates in person. It was really cool to meet different people I wouldn't normally meet. That was really good for me because I thrive off of diversity. If I had to describe Bridgeway in one word, it would be helpful. Amazing. Excellent. Innovative. Convenient. Very inspiring. Fun. Flexible. 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 Very flexible. Welcome. Hello. I'm Jen Salta, the head of school for the Bridgeway International Community. I've been working on this next part for a little bit, so please grant me some grace if I don't get it just right. Welcome, Alan Wasalan. Bienvenidos. Bienvenu. Binat Vinit. La Scavo Proximo. Ketile Costivene. Si Aquamu Kela. Vit Ame. Welcome. What an amazing day. We are so happy to celebrate graduation day with you. I want to give a big shout out to all of the families and friends who have supported our graduates along the way. Your love, your encouragement, your teaching, your guidance, your poking and prodding and maybe even a little outright nagging. Your prayers, it's all paid off. Today, we are celebrating not just our graduates. We're celebrating you, the families, friends, and community, the incredible support system that helped get them here. From the deepest part of my heart, thank you for everything you have done. Let's enjoy today, celebrate achievement, and get excited about the adventures ahead. Welcome again to the graduation ceremony for the 2024 class of Bridgeway Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty, parents, family, friends, and of course the incredible graduating class of 2024, welcome to the Bridgeway Academy High School graduation ceremony. And my name is Steve Sargent. I have the honor and privilege of serving on the executive team, and I'm 
thrilled to be here today and celebrate with all of you. To our incredible parents, today is as much a celebration of your success as it is of our graduates. And as homeschooling parents, you've made countless sacrifices, worked tirelessly, and give, given your all to get your senior here today. Your dedication, patience, and unwavering support have been foundational to their success. So today, as we celebrate this incredible milestone for your graduate, we celebrate you too. So congratulations and well done. Graduates, today marks a significant milestone in your lives. You too have worked tirelessly, overcome challenges, and demonstrated remarkable resilience and diligence to reach this moment. This moment marks both an end to one season and the beginning of a new season, a season of excitement, possibility, and opportunity. As you embark on this new season ahead, May you take a piece of Bridgeway Academy with you out into the world, making it a better place because you are in it. We'd like to extend a warm welcome to our distinguished guests, including members of the executive leadership team, administration, faculty, and staff who have supported our graduates throughout their academic journey. As we gather here today to celebrate the achievements of our graduates, we also reflect on the journey that has brought them to this moment it's been a journey of growth, learning, and countless memories that will be cherished forever. It's now my pleasure to introduce to you one of our very own graduating seniors, Darian Dorico. She's gonna perform our national anthem. So please stand for the national anthem and our opening prayer. So proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose bright stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. Oh, yeah, ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's Director of Online Learning at Bridgeway Academy. I would love to take this moment to pause in prayer and offer thanks to God for all he's provided us and the future he has planned for each graduate. Please join me in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We are so grateful for the 2024 graduates of Bridgeway Academy. We are blessed to be able to join to celebrate the accomplishments of these young men and women we know your presence in their lives has led them to this day. Not only their lives, but the people around them that supported them. This day would not be possible without the families of these young people, and we thank you for that. As we reflect upon this time that has led them to this day, we think about the successes and failures, the struggles and challenges, and the times that left these graduates feeling uncertain. We know, Father, that you were with them in these moments. We know that your hand was upon them, and you will continue to watch over them as they begin a new chapter in their lives. We ask, Father, that they keep you near in any path they choose to take. We pray that your blessing will be upon them as they go into this world. Grant them protection and wisdom and courage, and above all, assurance in your faithfulness and grace. We pray that they may seek you and that others may know your love through them. 
May they continue to be effective in all that they do. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise for this moment. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. My advisor is Christy Rose. Patrick Wilcox. Holly Morgan. Lauren Singer. Miss McCallie. Mary Cleveland. Elaine Evans. Miss Wilcox. Stacy was my advisor. My advisor was great this year. She is absolutely amazing. He made sure all my grades were where they need to be. She was great. She had so much patience. Thank you for putting up with us for this long. I'm just very grateful for her. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank her. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you Director of Advising, Heather Falk. My name is Heather Falk and I am the Director of Advising at Bridgeway Academy. I am so honored to be presenting two very esteemed recognitions. As you know, each graduate can earn the rank of Salutatorian and Valedictorian. This year, the competition was great with many of our students earning outstanding grades. Out of those students, two individuals reached the top of their class. The first student that I would like to congratulate is our salutatorian, Clarissa Joy Dixon. <laughs> Clarissa is a tr truly special young lady. From her unique birth story to her unwavering dedication to serve others, she's well on her way to positively impacting the world. A voracious reader with a thirst for knowledge, Clarissa has excelled academically. Her impressive score on the ACT at the young age of 11 even earned her recognition from Duke University's Talent Identification Program. Beyond academics and her outstanding graduation GPA of 4.55, Clarissa finds deep fulfillment in serving her church and community. This commitment extends to be becoming a certified first responder prepared to help others in need. This fall, Clarissa begins a new chapter attending the Honors College at Baylor University. Her diverse interests will undoubtedly flourish, allowing her to continue positively impacting the world. It is our pleasure to present you with your salutatorian medal and certificates. Hello fellow graduates and families and friends. Congratulations to us all. As stated, my name is Clarissa Dixon and I am your salutatorian. As previously mentioned, I am from the great state of Texas. <laughs> when people hear I am from Texas, many ask me questions based on their preconceived ideas of what a Texan is. A few stereotypes associated with my state are that everyone wears a cowboy hat, has a pair of well-worn cowboy boots, and all our friends have trucks with horse trailers. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, I am not wearing a cowboy hat or cowboy boots. I actually live in the city and don't own a big truck or have that awesome horse, sadly. <coughs> so even though I'm not wearing a Texas flag with my gown today, it does not mean that I am not a proud Texan. I just don't fit the traditional stereotype. That being said, I would like us to consider another stereotype that I believe all of us can relate to. The stereotype of being a homeschooler. The public often sees us as being antisocial, somewhat awkward, and preferring to stay within the protected shells of our homes. The truth is, homeschoolers couldn't be any more different. Personally, I am not antisocial, and I love to be involved in my community and interact with other people. I especially love to learn about where others are from and what makes them special. This goes to show that stereotypes are just that, assumptions made about groups of people that create false expectations. Have you ever heard the saying, don't judge a book by its cover? In my experience, this cliche has proven true on many occasions. I have traveled to all but seven of the 50 states 
And not only have I seen many diverse landscapes, but I have also encountered beautifully diverse accents, cultures, and traditions. To me, our differences make us distinctive and unique. The argument against these homeschool stereotypes is especially reflected in the accomplishments of Bridgeway's Honor Society, the National Beta Club, which will be discussed in detail later. As a group, the Honor Society has already stepped out into the public and started initiatives to improve the world around us, starting with our local communities. I want to encourage you that as we enter the real world and encounter new circumstances and people groups that we may not be accustomed to, we need to see others and get to know them before passing judgment through our jaded stereotypical glasses. Let us not be naive of the possible attitudes of the public towards us, but let us rather break down the walls and barriers that hinder personal growth by not judging people based on stereotypes. We can't let our preconceptions and beliefs stop us from making new friends, as I firmly believe that the human race was made to deeply connect with God and each other. In today's society, though, it has become commonplace to choose to focus on our individual differences, as opposed to the overwhelming amount of similarities. God created us all to be unique and share our important gifts with the world for the good of humanity. The world is waiting to see what us, as homeschoolers, have to offer. So, class of 2024, the journey to this stage has been long and tedious, but through our perseverance and determination, we have made it to the end of one chapter and are beginning a new chapter in our story. Let us step away from the isolations of homeschooling, defy the stereotypes, and look the world in the eye. Let's get out there and make our mark on the world. Thank you. As we celebrate years of dedication, study sessions, and triumphs, big and small, we'd like to spotlight an individual who has demonstrated excellence in academics and leadership. I am now honored to introduce the valedictorian of the graduating class of 2024, Trinity Faith Kravitz. Trinity Kravitz achieved both a high school diploma and an associate's degree from OCU and Bridgeway Academy while maintaining a 4.89 weighted GPA. A martial artist with over six years of experience, she holds a black belt in karate and is, and is nearing a black belt in taekwondo. By coaching children, Trinity shares her love of sports and will launch a girls' self-defense class. Trinity is passionate about reading, writing, building computers, and designing websites. Trinity's future plans include pursuing a bachelor's degree in digital design and designing websites while continuing to inspire young athletes through martial arts. Join me in congratulating Bridgeway Academy's 2024 valedictorian, Trinity Faith Kravitz. Good afternoon, friends, family, faculty, and most of all, fellow graduates. Who knew the hours of studying, procrastination, and frantic cramming would lead us all to this moment? <laughs> but we're all here now, so I guess caffeine really does do wonders. As a graduate, I'm sure that the class of 2024 will agree with me when I say that senior year is an incredible journey. It's filled with adulting, final courses, college applications, and last moments with friends before we begin college. It's like walking a tightrope while juggling torches. But here we are, and no one's caught on fire, not even our parents, hopefully, so I'd consider that a success. Today marks a significant event. It brings to mind the words of Aristotle. 
He said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. Graduates, we've shown this. Our accomplishment today is the result of years of consistent, determined actions. But we have not done it alone. There are so many people who have sacrificed more than we know so that we can be where we are today. First, to Bridgeway's faculty and staff, you deserve a standing ovation. You've worked countless hours, answered endless questions, and guided us through the maze of school. From the class of 2024, thank you. <laughs> to our families, especially our parents and guardians, thank you for all your sacrifices. You've raised us and kept us on schedule, even when we tried to convince you that a study break meant binge-watching TV. <laughs> you put up with our moods and messy rooms. You poured so much into us. From the class of 2024, thank you. <laughs> to our graduates, I'll be honest. Good grades don't equal life experience. There are others who can give better advice to you. But if I may give you one piece of advice, it would be this. Life will be messy. And I'm very inspirational, I know. <laughs> but the fact is inevitable. We can make schedules and plans and act on them, but life has a way of mixing things up. And that's OK. I've known people who are in their 30s who are still figuring out where they want to go with life, what they want to do with life. I've known people in their middle ages who still feel like they're children because everyone is still figuring things out as they go along. And no one knows where the next act of the movie will take them. But let's be honest, plot twists keep things interesting. So it's OK if you don't have all the answers to life. Even Google can't answer every question you throw at it. <laughs> Therefore, don't get stressed out. You can change your mind about things. You can change directions. You can start a new path, no matter if you're 18, or 30, or 60, or 90. I would like to conclude by leaving everyone with a quote by Dr. Seuss. You have brains in your head, he said. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. Class of 2024, let's steer ourselves toward the future and hopefully to a bit of rest. You deserve it. Congratulations, everyone. We did it. I'd like to welcome Annalise Godden to the stage. My name is Annalise Godin, and I'm the president of the National Beta Club and a Bridgeway Academy senior. I come to you from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. In the fall, I will be attending Boston University, where I plan to major in biology on a pre-med track. I would like to take this time to celebrate the outstanding achievements of our National Beta Club members from Bridgeway Academy. The National Beta Club is an organization that recognizes and promotes academic achievement, character, service, and leadership among students. I would like to recognize our amazing Beta Club Bridgeway seniors by name. Beta Club seniors in attendance, as I read your name, please come forward to receive your National Beta Club cord with emblem. Derek Sheldon, Grace Probes, Gianni Jervis Solomon, Annalise Godin, Clarissa Dixon.
This year, we have gone above and beyond in our commitment to the four pillars of the National Beta Club, which are achievement, character, service, and leadership. We have not only excelled academically, but we have also shown exceptional dedication to our communities. This year, our club won the All-Star Award for Community Service, performing over 2,300 hours. We also won the Elite John W. Harris Leadership Award, which is given to just five clubs each year. We've made lasting service projects like blessing boxes, mini lending libraries, literacy support programs, park cleanups, multiple programs for nursing homes, local programs for those in need, and so much more. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give another round of applause to all our Beta Club. Our hard work, dedication, and commitment to excellence is truly commendable. We have embodied the values of the National Beta Club, and I am so honored to be a part of this club and our achievements. Before we conclude, I would like to thank our Beta Club sponsor, Holly Morgan, for her unwavering support and guidance. Without you, these achievements would not be possible. Holly, please come forward. Thank you, Annalise. I am beyond proud of my beta students. I have been so inspired by this year's group, and I know they will continue to do amazing things. As you know, my name is Holly Morgan, and I have been a Bridgeway Academic Advisor for almost 12 years. I have the honor of introducing one of my very own Bridgeway alumni students, Carrie Pyscup Grawl, as our keynote speaker. While at Bridgeway, Carrie was a standout student. She lived between two countries, never volunteered less than 200 hours per school year across multiple organizations. She participated in online, not, uh, online Model United Nations and advocated for many. She also was in the first iteration of our dual enrollment program, completing her freshman year and part of her sophomore year of college before graduating high school. I can honestly say that Carrie is the reason why my focus turned to that department, why we now have an associate's degree program, and now why we have multiple university partners. She has helped make me who I am at Bridgeway. She graduated as salutatorian from Bridgeway Academy in 2016, a full scholarship recipient throughout her undergraduate studies she graduated with high honors from Indiana University. While at IU, she represented the school's COP24 delegation for the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change and worked as a research assistant on published works. After starting her career at the Department of Justice, Carrie transitioned to the education sector. Now in Indianapolis, Carrie is dedicated to making a positive impact one life experience at a time. We are honored to welcome Carrie to the stage. That was emotional. <laughs> Dear graduates, faculty, and honored guests, today is a day of celebration, achievement, and reflection. You all have come here together today to celebrate, and it is an honor to stand before you as you mark this end of this chapter in your lives. I am honored to be here as your commencement or keynote speaker in front of your family, friends, and loved ones. Today, I am going to reflect on your hard work, dedication, and commitment to Bridgeway Academy, and most importantly, to yourselves. Then, I'm going to reflect on my journey and provide some knowledge and wisdom from my college career. Finally, leaving each and every one of you with words of wisdom and a quote, which I am widely known for in my work and essays as a student with Bridgeway Academy. Thank you, Holly Morgan, for reminding me that 
last night. <laughs> in 2016, I was standing in your shoes, preparing for the future and wondering what this journey would bring me. I remember standing in the pews of the church in my shiny blue robe. I was graduating as the class salutatorian, anxious for my speech, but also for what the future would bring. I reflected on what brought me to Bridgeway Academy, realizing I never thought this part of my story would even be possible. I was a 12-year-old girl living in Saudi Arabia. I wasn't provided with a good education system, and my mother decided to take a chance by calling Bridgeway Academy and discussing what our options would be. Mami, te quiero un montón. Trust me, back then, this was uncharted territory. Zoom did not exist. COVID-19 did not happen yet. And yes, on the floor by J-Lo, Feet Pitbull was new and on repeat. <laughs> Years and moves later, Bridgeway became my steadfast in a world that was ever changing. Throughout my time in the Middle East, a beautiful time in the Middle East, three countries and the Arab Spring, I became a high schooler with Bridgeway Academy. That time of transition in young adulthood is difficult for any child, but in a foreign country, my parents and Holly Morgan, my biggest supporter and advisor, helped me through it all. Holly pushed me to become a greater version of myself, telling me to take a chance and take the college classes. Take a chance and travel for Model United Nations. And finally, take a chance and apply for those scholarships at the universities. By my senior year, I was accepted into Indiana University Bloomington, go Hoosiers, I had to, with dual credit under my belt and a full ride scholarship. My journey was only beginning. Throughout college, I continued to remember Holly, my parents and loved ones, as they would say, keep pushing and take a chance. By the time I was 21, I was fully funded to study for my accelerated master's program at Indiana University with international studies, multiple study abroads, and languages learned. However, as we all know, COVID-19 changed my life and the education system as we know it today. I could have given up, but I remembered, keep pushing. Thanks to Bridgeway Academy, I was able to graduate with high honors and distinction at Indiana University with a 3.8 GPA in my master's program. All possible, with the support and challenges provided by Bridgeway Academy. By 2021, I had a job with the Department of Justice. I never saw myself going down that path, but I decided to take a chance. Through that work experience, I was able to apply myself and understand the aspects of the law and our culture that leads to crime. I realized that education was and is the cornerstone. I decided to work in higher education, focusing on underprivileged youth, and to ensure they were given the same exact possibilities as other high school students throughout my state. Then, through a traumatic brain injury and life changes, I found myself working in education on the front lines as a kindergarten teacher in Gary, Indiana. The turn I took led me to where I am today, and every failure, rejection, or difficulty I would think of my parents and Holly Morgan telling me to keep pushing and to do it anyway. So the person that stands here before you today is only here today due to the life messes, experiences, and willingness to explore. That leads me to some reflections for you all today. Take a moment, graduates, to look around the room. Look at your loved ones that are here today with tears in their eyes and smiles as wide as can be. And remember to thank them. Look around at the Bridgeway family and proud advisors. Graduates, you have worked diligently and that must be given credit. However, never forget the people who were there for you before graduation and before the success. They will be your backbone. Remember that. Don't be afraid to make mistakes and take risks. As the type A salutatorian I was in 2016, and still am a little bit, I was terrified of them, horrified of mistakes. However, I realized they have created the young woman I am here today, speaking to you and providing my words of wisdom. Everything is reversible 
almost everything. Take a chance. Never be afraid to go out af go after what you want, even if that means taking a detour or figuring out it wasn't really your calling. Life is meant to be lived in. Finally, remember your mentors, advisors, and loved ones and their desire to see you keep pushing and doing it all anyways. You all stand before me, future doctors, lawyers, singers, artists, life changers, and dream chasers, ready to go farther than I ever have. I would love to leave you with a final quote by Mother Teresa that inspired Hedy Lamar, the silent film star who invented the technology that created Wi-Fi. Hedy Lamar was indeed brains and a beauty. And I quote, people are often unreasonable, illogical, and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people may accuse you of selfish ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are successful, you will win some false friends and some true enemies. Succeed anyway. If you are honest and frank, people may cheat you. Be honest and frank anyway. What you spend years building, someone could destroy overnight. Build anyway. If you find serenity and happiness, there may be jealousy. Be happy anyway. The good you do today, people will often forget tomorrow. Do good anyway. Give the world the best you have, and it may never be enough. Give the world the best you've got anyway. You see, in the final analysis, it was between you and God. It was never between you and them anyway. End quote, and congratulations to the wonderful and amazing class of 2024. Thank you. Thank you so much, Carrie, for that inspirational speech. Two students who not only achieved their highest diploma, but also their associate's degree. A violinist since age five, a young, innovative, and creative genius, genius, a competitive dancer, and performing protege, a world-class mover on the tennis court, a young healthcare patient advocate and volunteer. These are just a few of the accomplishments already achieved by the members of the class of 2024. They are already choosing to have an impact on the world. At such a young age, these students have decided to chase their dreams and show us what it means to make a difference. We know that you will continue to accomplish wonderful things. We would like to take a moment to recognize several individuals from this extraordinary class. The recipients of the following awards are those who have demonstrated dedication and or success in their specific category. The categories include Associate's Degree, Fine Arts Award, Industrial Arts Award, Outstanding Athlete, Outstanding Service, and Performing Arts. First, Associate De Degree Recipients. Through Bridgeway Academy's partnership with Ohio Christian University and Academia, the High school students can now graduate with both their high school diploma and a general studies associates of arts degree. This program is not for the faint of heart, but rather the go-getter who wants to get a jump start on college and career. It is my honor to recognize two graduates who obtained their associates degree with the class of 2024, Trinity Faith Kravitz. Trinity received an Associate of Arts Interdisciplinary Studies degree. <laughs> Aliyah Aquino. <laughs> Aliyah received Associates of Arts business degree. Congratulations. <laughs> the Fine Arts. We are proud to celebrate all of the outstanding talent and dedication of young artists at Bridgeway Academy. 
This year, we would like to recognize an exceptional young artist with the Bridgeway Academy Fine Arts Award. This student began showing interest in musical instruments at age five. At a young age, she faced numerous challenges, but despite these obstacles, her passion for playing the violin never wavered. Her talent, commitment, and enthusiasm were recognized, and she earned the opportunity to study at the Peabody Institute, a pre-professional music school in Baltimore, Maryland. Studying at the Peabody has been a dream for a long time, and she embraced the opportunity to learn from highly trained string professors, sometimes commuting for an hour or more. This dedication, resilience, and unwavering passion for music are precisely what the Bridgeway Academy Fine Arts Award celebrates. Please join me in congratulating Gabrielle Dana Bordley, our 2024 Bridgeway Academy Fine Arts Award winner. Have you ever met someone who can turn the ordinary into the extraordinary? Someone who sees the world through a lens that sparks creativity and imbues even the simplest object with meaning. Today we celebrate one such individual with the Bridgeway Academy Industrial Arts Award. Since childhood, this student has had a talent for transforming everyday items into something special. This ability to use any object to create something creative and meaningful is truly special. From birthdays to holidays, his family eagerly awaits his unique handcrafted gifts. For his exceptional talent and ability to transform the ordinary into the extraordinary, it is with great pleasure that we present the 2024 Bridgeway Academy Industrial Arts Award to William Miller Wiltshire. We are excited to celebrate an outstanding athlete whose passion and talent have left their competitors in awe. Ranked as the number three recruit in the country by tennis recruiting and with a 13.1 rating in the Universal Tennis Rating, the world's most accurate tennis rating system, this student has consistently showcased their talent on the court. This exceptional athlete hasn't gone unnoticed. Our Outstanding Athlete Award winner has secured an athletic scholarship to Stanford University, where his coach, Paul Goldstein, says this student is an elite competitor, a world-class mover around the tennis court, and has a deep passion for the game. Please join me in recognizing this exceptional young athlete and winner of the 2024 Bridgeway Academy Outstanding Athlete Award, Alexander Sean Rosagi. Unfortunately, he is unable to be with us today. He's at the French Open. He's at the French Open. <laughs> but we do have someone that deserves some recognition as an honorable mention for the outstanding athlete. As we celebrate the achievements of our outstanding athletes this year, we want to recognize another dedicated and passionate student who has been part of Bridgeway Academy for the last six years. This student's passion for figure skating began at the young age of seven. She is a two-time gold medalist with the U.S. Figure Skating Association and has recently received platinum level recognition in their graduating senior programs. Her most notable achievement is earning 12th place at the 2023 National Championship in the Junior Ice Dance. For honorable mention in the category of Outstanding Athlete, please join me in acknowledging Michaela Melillo.
For the 2024 Outstanding Service Award winner, we honor a student whose dedication to community service shines brightly. From a young age, this student has been driven by a desire to help others and explore STEM in ways that benefit their community. For the past two years, she has volunteered at UPMC Lidditz Hospital Radiology Department, becoming the first welcoming face for patients, answering questions, and ensuring they feel comfortable. This student's service goes beyond her volunteering at UPMC Lidditz Hospital. She has interned at UPMC Heart and Vascular Institute and with scler sorry, Scleroderma United, an organization advocating for those with this rare disease. This student's dedication to healthcare and patient advocacy is a true inspiration. Their passion and dedication exemplify the spirit of this award. Please join me in recognizing our 2024 Bridgeway Academy Outstanding Service Award winner, Annalise Godin. And our last award is in the area of performing arts. The stage lights up for our 2024 Bridgeway Academy Performing Arts Award winner. This student is a truly remarkable young performer. From the moment she was born, she embodied the term triple threat. She dances with grace, sings with power, and acts with conviction. She's a regional and national champion, winning countless awards with her solos. But her talent goes far beyond the trophies. She has been an assistant assistant dance teacher for five years, working with students of all ages from toddlers to teenagers. Her passion extends to choreography too, from crafting full-blown shows to individual pieces and competition routines. She brings stories to life with every move. This student was born to perform, whether in dance, acting, or singing. Please join me in congratulating Amanda Ahavni to Terzini. <laughs> the chief. Hello again. Uh, my name is Clarissa, and I am the salutatorian. I come to you from the outskirts of Houston, Texas. I have been accepted into Baylor University, and I haven't declared my major yet, but my main fields of interest are law, research, science, and speech-language pathology. Even though we are here to celebrate the class of 2024, my fellow graduates and I recognize that we would not be here today without some very important people. Parents and guardians, this part of the graduation ceremony is dedicated to you. This day is only made possible through your love and never-ending support. Today marks not only the end of our high school academic journey, but also the celebration of your dedication and sacrifices. I would like to personally thank my parents. Mom and Dad, throughout my life, I knew I would eventually graduate high school. But there were definitely tough times, and you were always there with a word of encouragement to press on because you believed in me. Thank you for all of your love, support, and belief in me. So, parents and guardians, on behalf of my fellow graduates, we would like to offer our sincere and heartfelt gratitude for your encouragement, wisdom, belief, patience, and love.
Hello. <laughs> My name is Victoria Ostertag, and I am the manager of advising here at Bridgeway Academy. And this is the moment we've all been waiting for. It's my honor to present the diplomas to the graduating class of 2024. Our first graduate is Aliyah Aquino. She is from the Bronx, New York. She plans to continue growing and expanding her business. Her greatest accomplishment is building the persistence that will get her through life. And the quote that she would like to share with her fellow graduates is, that a growth mindset turns problems into stepping stones on your way to success. Our next graduate is Alexandra Arthur. She's from Sterling Heights, Michigan. Allie has a great passion for horses and people. She would like to find her path in helping kids with disabilities through horse therapy. She will take the next year to explore her options and volunteer with some local groups that work in animal-assisted therapy. Her greatest accomplishment is that she has competed in hunter-jumper-style equestrian horse shows, and last year she was the high point rider for the year. She did this in spite of the fact that her personal horse suffered a life-ending injury during the season. She has been an example of strength to the team. Her inspirational quote is, not all who wander are lost by Tolkien. Jose Barajas is from Colombia. He plans to study the science of sports and also to play professional football, soccer to us here in the US. <laughs> and his greatest accomplishment is finishing high school. <laughs> Next is Eloise Bedoin. She is from Rhode Island and she plans to continue her career in dance and study ballet. Her goal is to join a prestigious dance company. <laughs> Next, we have Simone Maya Elizabeth Benjamin. She is from the United States and Canada. She plans to attend the University of Florida and continue to pursue her hobbies. Her quote is from C.S. Lewis. There are far, far better things ahead than any we have left behind. <laughs> Next, we have Jaylee Ann Blay. She is from Zephyr Hills, Florida. She plans to go to college for business management and use her education to run her family businesses. Her greatest accomplishment is graduating high school, and her quote, if at first you don't succeed, then skydiving definitely isn't for you. <laughs> Next, we have Gabrielle Dana Bordley from Annapolis, Maryland. She plans to travel abroad and to pursue a degree in English with a minor in advertising and marketing. Her greatest accomplishment is becoming a skilled violinist and her inspirational quote is, do it scared. <laughs> Next, we have Pierce Britton from Grand Cayman, and his greatest accomplishment is finishing high school. <laughs> Jabril Birch is from Las Vegas, Nevada, he plans to attend aviation school to become a pilot. His greatest accomplishment is also finishing high school. <laughs> and, his <laughs> so his inspirational quote was to keep going in life. <laughs> Next, we have Emily Calhoun from Ann Arbor, Michigan, who loves dance, gymnastics, and writing. She plans to be an author and pursue teaching as a fourth grade English teacher. <laughs> her greatest accomplishment is this senior year in her English class. She composed a draft for one of the books that she um, plans to publish within the next few years. <laughs> uh, 
And Emily says to her fellow graduates, don't take your future for granted, and be sure, no matter what, to reach for your goals and aspirations. So next is Thomas Cassessi. He's from Montgomery, New York. Thomas plans to take a year off and explore different careers. His greatest accomplishment is passing my driver's test on the first try and buying my own truck. <laughs> and his quote, <laughs> His quote is the British SAS motto, who dares wins. Yeah. Next we have Darian Dorico from Las Vegas, Nevada. Darian would like to become a professional singer-songwriter. She would also like to pursue filmmaking and writing for the big screens as well as acting. Her greatest accomplishment would receive, was receiving a round of applause for the play that she wrote for her NYU Dramatic Writing Summer Program. It made her feel like, wow, I can do this, and I shouldn't doubt myself for my abilities. Her quote is to open your mouth and sing, click your pen and write, stand up and run, because you'll never know what you're capable of until you try. <laughs> Next, we have Sofia diaz Liel. She is from Puerto Rico. Her future plans are to be a special needs psychologist, and her greatest accomplishment is graduating with honors. <laughs> Next is Clarissa Joy Dixon from Rosenberg, Texas. She plans to attend Baylor University and use her talents to make the world a better place. Her greatest accomplishment is not something that she has done, but that God has done through her. Since before birth, God has performed many miracles and allowed her life to be a testimony to his healing power. Her quote is, don't let the world change your smile, let your smile change the world. Next we have Olivia Doyle from Flemington, New Jersey. She plans to be a veterinarian and her greatest accomplishment is being able to help animals. Next up is Madison Fry from Inwood, West Virginia. She plans to be a dance instructor at 24-7 Dance Studio. She feels that her greatest accomplishment is getting hired as a dance instructor at her studio. And her quote, her challenge to her fellow graduates is to always believe in yourself and dance like nobody's watching you. <laughs> Next, we have Annalise Godin from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. She will be attending Boston University where she plans on majoring in biology on a pre-med track. Her greatest accomplishment is being accepted to her top choice college as well as her ballet achievements throughout her years of professional ballet training. And her quote is one of my go-to mottos regarding personal growth and aspiration is, if your dreams do not scare you, they are not big enough. With this in mind, I challenge my fellow graduates to set their sights and goals high and strive to achieve them. Next is Zoe Gray from Brooklyn, New York. She plans to help others and to make others feel comfortable enough to be themselves, which in her field will be towards the future generation. Her other plans are to live peacefully with a husband and maybe a child, live colorfully, and never stop seeking happiness. Her greatest accomplishment in, is coming as far as she has. When she was younger, she knew she wanted to do something special. So she's using her words of knowledge and kindness to spread into the world as a therapist. She wants everyone to feel like they can achieve anything they put their mind to, that they feel loved and accepted by everyone, and that nothing can stop them from being who they really are. And her inspirational quote, is never compromise a dream, always compromise on how it will come true. <laughs> Next is Zachary Gurney from Maysville, Kentucky. His greatest accomplishment was fancy, facing cancer head on, winning the three and a half year battle and never letting it stand in his way no matter what it threw at him.
Next is Blake Hart from Texas. He plans to attend the University of North Texas to study in the field of computer science. Congratulations, Blake. <laughs> Next is Sienna Healy from Calabash, North Carolina. She plans to major in criminal justice at Appalachian State University while working for campus police in their police development program. Her greatest accomplishment was being accepted to every college she applied to. <laughs> and to her fellow graduates, she would like to say, don't wait for the perfect moment. Take this moment and make it perfect. Next is Nikea Hernandez-Bentley from Portsmouth, Rhode Island. Future plans are to start as an electrical at an electrical technical school in September and then join his father's electrical company. His greatest accomplishment was loving, raising, and training the best dog in the world, Acer. And his inspirational quote is from Theodore Roosevelt. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better, the credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming. <laughs> Next, we have Albion Husanai from New York. He is planning to study to become a computer engineer or scientist, and his greatest accomplishment is graduating high school. <laughs> Next, we have Michael Jackson from Charlotte, North Carolina. <laughs> he plans to work in IT. His greatest accomplishment is being in a movie. Oh, and he's also going to pursue music. Sorry, I missed that one. And his quote for everyone is, safety. safety. <laughs> Next is Nathan Jones from New Church, Virginia. He's attending the Clark's Honors College at Salisbury University in the fall of 2024. There he will pursue a Bachelor of Science in Biology, focusing on environmental biology, with the aspiration of becoming a career carcinologist specializing in either ecology or taxonomy. His greatest accomplishment is research experience related to terrestrial isopods. And his quote is from James Cameron, if you set your goals ridiculously high and it's a failure, you will fail above everyone else's success. Next, we have Riley Lorraine Carney from Newport Beach, California, who is attending college to study communications with a concentration in marketing and public relations. Her greatest accomplishment was receiving first place in multiple dressage tests, and her inspiring quote is from Taylor Swift. This was the very first page, not where the storyline ends. <laughs> Next, we have Linnea Kobe from South Haven, Mississippi, and formerly from Wenzhou, China. Her future plans are to go to Delta Technical College to become an electrician, and her greatest accomplishment is learning to ride and participate in English equestrian events. <laughs> Next, we have Trinity Faith Kravitz from Texas who plans to continue college to study digital design. She is pursuing career as a web designer while sharpening her skills and performance in Taekwondo, among other martial arts. Her quote is also from C.S. Lewis, you are never too old to set another goal or dream, a new dream. <laughs> Next, we have Emerson Mason from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He plans to go to barber school after graduation. <laughs> Next, we have Alexander Mazak from Egg Harbor Township, New Jersey. 
Alex will be attending Atlantic Cape Community College studying aviation and obtaining his pilot's license. He will continue to play violin professionally and will also continue to practice martial arts and participate in CrossFit. Next is Michaela Malilo from Madison, Kentucky. Excuse me, Madison, Connecticut, <laughs> sorry. Her future plans are to have a gap year to pursue her skating career, and after that to attend the University of New Haven as a psychology major. Her greatest accomplishment was earning 12th place in the 2023 U.S. Junior National Ice Dance Championship, and her quote is to have patience, courage, and be kind. Next, we have Faith Merck, who was originally from Jackson, Mississippi, but has been living in Carlisle, Pennsylvania for the past five years to further her ballet training. She plans to dance with Nashville Ballet next year while attending Penn State World Campus to further her studies. Her greatest accomplishment is being an advanced ballet student at one of the top schools in the country. And Faith's challenge to her fellow graduates is to achieve their dreams to their fullest potential. Next, we have William Ricardo Alexander Miller Wiltshire from New York City, New York. William says, regarding my future plans, the opportunities are endless. However, my foundation of achievement and resilience sets the stage for a promising and fulfilling journey ahead. My greatest accomplishment is mastering music and academics, culminating in early graduation at 17 while homeschooled since 2017 showcases my exceptional dedication and intellect, providing invaluable skills for diverse future endeavors. And his inspirational quote, my late grandfather always says the following quote by Benjamin Franklin, if you fail to plan, you are planning to fail. I believe that life doesn't pause for us to catch up. It keeps moving forward, urging us to keep pace. Taking that next step is not just about continuing forward, it's about embracing the momentum of life, seizing opportunities, and confronting new challenges. Next, we have Dean Monroe from Pahrump, Nevada. <laughs> His quote, it's not how you perceive the world, it's how you react to what you see. Next, we have Amaya Miles from Grand Cayman, Cayman Islands. <laughs> she plans to study law at university. Her greatest accomplishment is graduating. And her quote, continue to be the best that you can be. <laughs> Next is Jeremiah Persons from Fort Belvoir, Virginia. He plans to attend college at Southeastern University in Florida. His greatest accomplishment is yet to be seen. And his inspiring quote, let us remember our ultimate goal. Next is Grace Probst from Canton, Georgia. Grace's plans include attending Reinhardt University and earning undergraduate and graduate degrees in graphic design. She also plans to pursue a career in entrepreneurship, operating a graphic design business while continuing to write her book series. Her greatest accomplishment through painting, drawing, writing, dance, gymnastics, baton twirling, cosplay, and more, I have pushed myself to excel and become the best person I can be. At times, I had to power through chronic illnesses and setbacks, but I have become a strong and well-rounded person through all the people I've met, the things I've created, and the knowledge and skills I learned. Her inspiring quote is one of her own. Life is an adventure to enjoy, but engaging in servant leadership aims to lift others to embrace their own life adventures. So turn yourself into the servant leader that others need you to be. Next is Priscilla Ramirez from the Dominican Republic. Her future plans are to become a biotechnician and her greatest, greatest accomplishment is finishing high school. Next is Isabella Salvo from Long Island, New York. 
Her future plans are attending art college, and her greatest accomplishment was also getting through high school. <laughs> Next is Leonardo Sanchez from the Dominican Republic. He is going to major in music composition and his greatest accomplishment is a composition of his that was presented at the Conservatory of the Dominican Republic. <laughs> Next is Derek Sheldon from Port St. Lucie, Florida, who plans to continue traveling the world, learning about new cultures and helping with humanitarian trips. He also plans to pursue an education in the marine biology field. His greatest accomplishment is that he has learned to find what he truly loves to do. And his quote is also from Theodore Roosevelt, believe you can and you're halfway there. Yeah. Next is Seth William St. Hilaire from Hermiston, Oregon. His future plans are to work on the family farm in preparation to go into the field of corporate aviation, and his greatest accomplishment is seeking God. <laughs> Next is Elliot Teets from Winchester, Virginia. His future plans are to work alongside his dad in construction, and his greatest accomplishment is graduating high school. Next is Amanda Ahavni Terzian from Manahawkin, New Jersey. She will be attending the Fashion Institute of Technology for Fashion Design with a minor in dance, and she plans to one day have her own designer brand and dancewear brand. Her greatest accomplishment is starting her own custom dance costume business and selling her first costume at 16 years of age. Her inspirational quote, dreams don't grant themselves, they are achieved by the dreamer. Next, we have Rubens Toussaint Jr. from New York. He is entering the Marines. His greatest accomplishment is being an MMA fighter. And his quote is, the magic you are looking for is in the work you're avoiding. <laughs> Next, we have Hannah Wing from Monmouth, Maine. After graduating, she is excited to continue her journey in cosmetology school at the Avita Institute in Maine. Her goal is to obtain her cosmetology license while then after obtaining uh, an esthetician license as well. Her greatest accomplishment is being faced with the challenge of changing from public school to navigating homeschooling my sophomore year of high school. And her inspirational quote is from Rapunzel, don't trust anyone that says you can't do it, show them you can. And last, we have Madeline Zire from Las Vegas, Nevada. Maddie, <laughs> Maddie plans on getting a degree in business while pursuing her career as an actress and singer. Maddie plans on working with animals and to start a nonprofit for animals who need a home. Her greatest accomplishment is graduating at 16 with honors and a clear plan for her future. And her inspirational quote is, follow your passions, be prepared to work hard, and above all, don't let obstacles limit your dreams. If you are someone whose eyes uh, leak, I am not going to be helpful to you at this moment. <laughs> Consider yourselves warned. If you are somebody who sympathy, whose eyes sympathy leak, I am not going to be helpful to you at this moment. Graduates, look at you all. <laughs> You've worked so hard and achieved so much. Today, right now, take a moment to feel proud of everything that you have accomplished. 
breathe it in, sit with it. Remember, the future is wide open and it's yours. It's yours to shape. Dream big. Take risks. Go after what you want. You've got the foundation, the talent, the heart, and the determination to make incredible things happen. I, we look forward to the difference that you will make in this world and the places that you will go. Congratulations, graduates. Will you please stand? All right, all right, are you ready? Are you ready? All right, now switch your tassels to the left. <laughs> by the power vested in me by your parents, <laughs> the Department of Education, I now pronounce you the official members of the graduated class of 2024. Give them a hand. My name is Zachary Gurney, and I'm from Maysville, Kentucky. My future plan is to get a job and work out my life while I figure things out. I would like to introduce one of our, the favorite parts of our annual ceremony. The graduates here today represent just a small portion of our class total. I would like to acknowledge that our Bridgeway class of 2024 totals 280 students from all over the world. There are many Bridgeway seniors that want to attend our ceremony, but could not. So, please join me in viewing a recorded video of our 2024 Bridgeway graduates from all over the world walking the stage.
After graduating, I plan to attend Boston University, Penn State Online, Southeastern University, Houston University. I will be heading to Baylor in the fall. I want to go to a vocational school. My plans are to study biology, major in sports management, be business administration, acting and singing. I'd like to become an English professor, become a pilot, pilot, business owner, master electrician, doctor, a singer, songwriter, and a filmmaker. I feel very excited about my future. I feel really great about my future. I feel 100% sure. I feel very good. I feel pretty confident. The future is looking pretty bright. My name is Jessica Parnell. I am the daughter of the founders of Bridgeway Academy. And I will say, that if they were here, they would be so proud. Our first graduating class was three, and now we're at 285 from all around the world. And I, I, I had a whole speech somewhere here as planned, but hearing the messages from each one of you, your class challenges, our salutatorian, our valedictorian, Carrie, amazing wisdom, amazing possibilities. I am so privileged to be part of your journey. Our advisors, parents, see them as their kids too. And they are so proud of each and every one of you. One of our commitments here is to ensure that we stay true to the mission of my parents. Uh, my, I had the privilege of having amazing parents who always, wanted to pull out the best in people. And when they had the vision to start Bridgeway Academy, they had that vision because parents in 1989 didn't have choices. They couldn't find homeschool options. And so they stepped forward and created an opportunity for that. Two years ago, we decided to establish an award, a Founders Award, to honor them and to make sure we stay true to their vision, which was to equip parents and students with what they needed to be able to bring out the best in each and every one of you. And your opportunity to study at home, to go after your dreams. We've heard business owners already. We've heard about individuals who have made a difference in many aspects, in small communities and large communities today has been such a privilege. We have among us men and women who are going on to be business owners, to change the world in science, in arts, fashion design, vocations, family businesses, amazing. And I found myself tearing up many times, so I'm with you, Jen. Our founders, Dr. Robert and Linda Salzman, my parents, were driven by a spirit of innovation and even disruption as they responded to a need and opened up a homeschool academy 35 years ago. Their passion for Christian education and commitment to providing families with an opportunity to help their students discover and pursue their personal excellence is one that we want to honor and continue to carry forward so that you can go forward with confidence and the foundation you need for the future. And that Founders Award helps us remain true to that. It seeks to recognize those who demonstrate innovative thinking, mentorship, a commitment to service, empathy, integrity, resilience, honesty, and a genuine desire to support and nurture the growth of others. And today we have a class full of them, don't we? Tonight we honor an individual whose qualities and actions truly reflect the essence of this award. Our reward recipient, our first reward recipient for the Founders Award is one who demonstrates remarkable empathy, always considering the perspectives of her students, parents, and colleagues. She embodies responsibility, often takes ownership for things saying, well, that's on me. And remember that, take ownership. 
Her resilience is evident as she models how to move forward from a bad day with grace and strength. She has strong ethical principles and has unwavering integrity and honesty. She provides truth with compassion to help others grow. She's genuine in her interactions and shows a deep, authentic care for others as she encourages them to reach their full potential. She is part of the reason you have a team of teachers who truly love and care for their students. Our reward recipient is our own Director of Online Learning, Jessica Kerfman. Our current students, families, alumni, parents are able, are eligible to receive the Founders Award. And we encourage you as you go forward in life, students, parents who have other students, to look for those qualities, individuals. And you will hear from us to nominate our next reward recipient, which will be presented in 2026. So we give you that opportunity. What are you looking for? We are looking for people with innovative thinking and an ability to think outside the box. A spirit of mentorship and service. Support and guidance in nurturing others' God-given gifts. Someone who's willing to encourage others in their smallest victories. A willingness to serve in their community, to identify and address the needs of others, to recognize God's hand in your success, and to have a lifelong love of learning. So you will hear again, so congratulations again to Jess, and thank you all for attending our 2024 commencement service. Thank you. Congratulations, class of 2024. Congratulations, class of 2024. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2024. I am so proud of you. So excited for you, so proud of you. I wish you all the best. We are so proud of you. I know you are all going to rock it. Way to go. Just go out and make the world a better place. I know you can do this. You have worked so hard and it has built up to this moment. I cannot wait to see where life takes you. On to the next adventure. The best is yet to come.